Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stupid Gaming. You've uh, joined me partway through uh, one of the main quest missions and uh, I've just been attacked by an extremely high level um, undead, so uh, I'm a little bit worse for wear. Um, currently I am trying to find out how to create the ocular lubricant that I need for my quest. Now I've tried a workbench that didn't work so I am currently in the process of trying a um, I think they call a summoning cauldron I can't quite remember but that's what I'm trying anyway. Now I need to I feel bad, but I need to drop all of this. Uh, stone, because I need to get more wood to build another floor. Get more iron ore. enough tree. It's not enough. Can I reach that tree? Yes I can. I'm really nervous that that undead comes back. It was level 41. Cauldron, not summoning. Okay. I can make six ingots at the moment and only fifteen. stone again. There's a health potion. So I need to get 18. some down below because there's um, a river just below me but there doesn't seem to be any um, ore deposits there at all which is very annoying. So level 34 dire wolf, this is not a good area for me to be in. And it said I needed to be level 30 to come into this area but obviously I need to be higher because I've got a level 41 undead and a level 34 direwolf.
so hopefully I was getting more iron ore but now I seem to have stopped getting iron ore again exactly where I need to go. I oh know. Going up. fancy having to go two and a half kilometers back to my base just to make one lubricant to have to travel all the way back here just seems like a complete waste of energy <laughs> Thirty iron ore in total. How many have I got now? Twenty-two. I need eight more. Wow. This has none. That was good. That had a one in it. Keep an eye out for uh, things that are going to attack me as well. Not a nice place to beat this. Carrying too much. By chucking out all this stone, I could be using this to finish my base. sound of that, sounded like undead. Not want to be facing off against that again, that's for sure. Four 
water on Death Weaver. Guys, well, I'm going to continue looking for stone. I don't think uh, it's necessary to bore you guys with the uh, the search. So uh, hopefully, I'll find some without getting killed, and uh, I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I've now got the ingots. Well, not the ingots. I've got the ore. Make the 15. I'm going to do the 16. Uh, make the 15 iron ingots to enable me to make the cauldron. is definitely not a nice place to be. I've seen a lot of burning undead as well. Excellent, leveled up as well. So my baseline mana is higher. Some more damage because that'll do uh, craft. Um, not crafting. Um, it'll do extract faster as well. Six points. Three foot wraps. Transmuter. to be quite useful. I'm ready for the bed pack. I've got the chairs pack. Um, stone torches. Torches can be placed on the floor pieces or directly onto the terrain. Let's get that with that one point. There we go. Okay. Lubricant, I need some salt and storm essence. Oh, great, so I've done all of that and I need to go back anyway. Well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? Okay guys, well, looks like I'm going to have to travel back home anyway, so I will uh, basically see you when I get there.
made it back. Um, as you can see, I've now finished the first layer, at least, of the perimeter wall. Um, I need to finish off the caps and some of the uh, sloped walls, but other than that, it's looking uh, much better than it was. Right, so I need some salt. And then a storm essence. And hope that's enough. It is. Right, while well that's brewing, let's go and use all of this stone to uh, work on the wall, not, not put it to waste. to a tree. Literally attach it to a tree. on it. That's good. Right. So is that now... I think that's now done, so... I just now need to start the fringe all the way around. used up all of that stone that I gathered. Ocular lubricant. Right, so that now means, of course, that I have to travel all the way back north. Ugh. Sometimes I wish they made this a little easier. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to fast travel as far as I possibly can. Um, and then hope from that that uh, it's not going to take me too long. But I have a feeling it will do. So let's just get to the fast travel point here. I don't even know whether on the map there is uh, a fast travel point anywhere near that sort of area, but I suppose I'm going to find one as close north as I possibly can. Um, because that will help me out in the future. Just keep going a bit further north all the time. closest tower is going to be that one, isn't it? Which is Throne of Ignis. Okay, let's go to the Throne of Ignis. Got 1,193 metres to go, so that was much better. 
So, as always, I'll see you when I get there. Hello, okay, I'm nearly here, I'm being attacked by a giant eagle. Level 35 giant eagle as well. see again which is a relief the only cursed image I see now is you you are here to help with the translation and save Ignis I apologize friend it was merely a harmless joke give me a few seconds to determine our next steps right now I'm not let's get rid of my broom and put on my healing amulet for a second I think that that eagle's still out there. Okay. Let's carry on. Firstly, we must create a special lens to filter the light emanating from these cursed images, as to determine their content and see if they continuation of the message left by our mysterious scribe. My eyes have grown more sensitive to light from the darkness of meditation, uh, meditative surroundings. I have a friend who specialises in gems. We might have one we can use to help filter the light. Excellent. That means another trip to somewhere ridiculous. It's uh, even further north. Yay! feeling that uh, the eagle is still out there and it's going to take me a while to heal up and everything so I will uh, skip to when I'm fully healed and my mana is fully regenerated and I will uh, then start heading to that new place. Um, I'll probably call it um, this video to a close when I get there so So I'll see you when I'm healed. Okay, so that's me fully healed. I think that bird is still out here, so I'm going to have to... Uh... Very, very funky. Escape method. I think that has worked, I'm not 100% sure. So I'll go here and I'll speak to this guy and then uh, I will call this video to an end. Um, in a bit of an interesting main quest section. I do find it quite annoying that a lot of these things do make you uh, literally travel backwards and forwards from your base. now. Yes, I can understand that you can have your base anywhere, but you can only have one. Now, it's not like I can build a little shack all over the place and uh, just continually end up getting um, items because, it, yeah, sorry, continually getting buildings wherever I need to go. If only that were the case, it would be really nice. I mean, the storm essence right here, which is near to 
that quest, so if you are able to, and if you have got salt, then you can literally just fly up onto this hill, and there is some uh, storm essence there. I mean, I could have flown north, just in case, but at the same time, I think it was more of a risk. Now this looks like a fast travel point. And if this is a fast travel point, that will be brilliant. It is a fast travel point. Now it's not brilliant from the point of view that if I have to go back to that other guy, I still have to fly or run back there. But it's brilliant in as far as at least it's another one that's a bit further north. Right. Huh? I do not provide substances for people I am unfamiliar with. I big sent you. He is my main man, one of my best customers. Give me a second to see if I have something he could use. Okay. Zero experience from that. The crystal has interesting properties and should suit his needs. But I big, this is free of charge. So I now need to craft the light bender lens, which I have a feeling, again, it's a good job this is in a uh, fast travel point because I feel I have to go back to my uh, base again. So. Why don't I do that? Because that will make it a little bit easier, won't it? I have no idea. I was going to say, I thought I'd gone back to the correct one. I had, it just hadn't loaded in. I should build some steps there. The problem is I'd have to link them to my uh, property somehow. Oh. Seriously. So being a lens, it's either going to be in the forge or the craftsman's bench, I would imagine. Right, bender lens, there you go. So, for it, you need a tinted crystal, two flawedless rune gems, and four, uh, uh, sorry, two iron ingots. So, you can make that at a forge, so if you've got a forge anywhere near you and you've got some flawless crystals, etc., you should be good to go. Now, um, 
I'm going to craft this and then I'm going to finish this video guys so uh, I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please make sure you click the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and when you do please make sure you do click that bell icon so you are notified when I do upload my next video and also leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the uh, video and of course the game and uh, also let me know what you want to see for the future so uh, I have done couple of videos spanning arc as well now so if you want to see more on arc to see what i consider to be the natural progression for this type of game then uh, please do let me know and uh, i will try and get a video on that for you as soon as possible anyway guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon you all take care bye for now